morning to everyone. Yeah. Morning. 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 Uh, today we will talk about Woodwind family. Okay. My name is Ying Sing and I'm now going to give you a brief, brief, a very brief one intro about the Woodwind family. Okay. Uh, the Woodwind family is made up of flute, oboe, clarinet, bassoon, and saxophone. Okay, these five instruments. Mm -hmm. And just like the name, woodwind instruments are made out of wood, okay, uh, like the clarinets, okay, but except for flute and saxophone, okay, these two instruments are made out of metal, and uh, so. Clarinet. Clarinet. Okay, next I will present clarinet. Okay, the first of the first is the range of the clarinet. Clarinet has the largest pitch range among the woodwind family. Okay, it can play from E3 and extends upward until C7. Okay, next is the tone color. Okay, if the clarinet has the brightest tone color. It can be heard throughout a loud orchestra. Okay, next is the bass clarinet. The bass clarinet has a deep and mellow sound. Okay, the alto clarinet has deep but not that deep as the bass clarinet. Okay, next is the characteristic of the clarinet. It is a single reed instrument and it is also a transposing instrument which is major second up or minor third down. Understand? Yeah. yeah. The technique for the blowing of the clarinet. First, you must curve your lower lips inwards and place the mouthpiece onto your lower lips. Then you grip it. Then make sure there is no gap between the mouthpiece and the mouth to create an airtight seal so that you will be easy for you to blow it. You must relax your muscle around your mouth to avoid breathing difficulty or blowing difficulty and avoid sweet sweating. Okay. That's all for me. Thank you. Okay, so the next instrument is oboe. So I want to ask all of you how do we call oboe players? Oboe. Yes. Oboes. We can also call them oboe players. Okay, so oboe is a non-transposing instrument. It plays the soprano range. Um, it oboes also play the tuning note in the orchestra because the tone is clear, bright, and penetrating. 
so that the whole orchestra can hear the oboe sound. Okay, so when oboe play the low notes, the sound will be thick and heavy. When the oboe plays in the middle, middle register, it will sound bright and forceful. And when it plays in high register, uh, it will be less expressive. It will sound like biting or something like that. Okay, oboe has double reed, which vibrate against each other. We need to soak the reed first before you play, before you use the reed to play. Oboe does not have had a uh, mouthpiece it is different from clarinet and it has three parts the body has three parts which is upper joint lower joint and the bell it also has two octave keys um, let's say if you play the lowest octave and you want to go to the, the higher one octave then you press the first octave key and then if you want to go another octave then you press the second octave Okay, so the range for oboe is more than two and a half octaves. And if you want to play higher pitch, then your your air speed will need to go um, faster, like other blowing instruments. And when you play, if you notice that you play too flat, then you can put out, then you can put the reed more into your mouth. And if you play too sharp, you can put you read out of your mouth a little bit. That's all from me. Next instrument. So now we will proceed with the saxophone. Okay, saxophone is one uh, one of the instrument that you have different range. Okay, just like you have the soprano saxophone, alto saxophone, tenor sax, and baritone sax. Okay. And the are parts, okay, the parts for the saxophone is quite a lot as well. You have a mouthpiece, ligature, the body of the saxophone, okay, the bell, key guard, the neck, okay, up here, okay, neck, neck curl, neck screw, strap. Then for the instrument saxophone, yeah, you have a octave key and octave pin, which allows you to play higher octave, okay. And saxophone, okay, is an instrument that you have to use a reed, okay? It's a single reed, not double reed, okay? Unlike the oboe, okay? Oboe is using a double reed, okay? And as I mentioned just now, the soprano, you ha we have soprano, alto, tenor, and so on. So, uh, they have different keys, okay? Because they are transposing instruments, okay? Which means if the soprano saxophone, okay, when you look at the score, okay, they, the score is written a middle C there, but the sound is in B flat, okay? So soprano saxophone is a major second, a major second up, okay, from the sounding, okay? And alto sax is a major six, tenor sax is a major nine, which you can count as a major second as well, lah. Okay, the full name is compound major second. Yes, and the last one, the baritone is major thirteen, which is compound major six. Okay, so and lastly, uh, the range, um. As normally we will see is the alto saxophone and tenor sax, so I will only uh, mention about these two. Okay, for the alto saxophone, the range is from B flat three to F six. Okay, which consider as uh, quite a big range as well. And the tenor sax is from A flat two to E flat five, a lower range compared to the alto sax. Okay, so thank you. That's all from me. And lastly, is the bassoon. Okay, the bassoon. The range of the bassoon it has the lowest pitch in the woodwind family. It begins at B flat one, first one below the bass staff, and extend upwards 
over three octave roughly to E flat above the treble staff, which is E flat five. Okay, the characteristic of a bassoon it is a double reed instrument, and it is a non transposing instrument. Okay, next, Jemima will present. Okay, so for the tone of the bassoon, it is warm, mellow, and dark. And for the body parts, you know that bassoon looks like a, a long bamboo, right? So the, the, the top part will be called bell joint, and the middle one will be called bass joint, and the, the bottom one will be called boot joint. Okay, so for bassoon, um, the same pitch can be produced by using different combination of fingering. The different fingering is for you to achieve uh, different moods. Like if you want to play loud, uh, loud, loud notes, then maybe you use this kind of fingering. And if you want to play for the soft dynamics, you will use different kind of fingering. Like for example, for the note E flat, there have there has five variations of fingering that you can use. And for um, F sharp, you can have like three uh, combinations of fingering. Um, so. Yeah, that's all for bassoon. Okay, now we will proceed to the technique, okay, of uh, woodwind instruments, okay. Uh, here we will only talk about the general one. Yeah, the specific one, please look up from Google, okay. Google. So, okay. I will just write from here lah, okay. <coughs> Everyone can see, right? Mm. Can see very clearly. So the first one is a slur. Okay. Everyone know what is a slur? Yes. yes. No. Slur. Mm. A slur which slur means a uh, legato for it wind instruments, which means that you have to uh, play the notes in one break. Okay? And somehow there's really no gap between the notes okay because you are using only one break right and next mm, we talk about staccato okay staccato which means short and detached okay meaning sorry uh, this one is no gap <coughs> this one you play the note very short and a big gap in between them between the notes, somehow this playing okay? The pitch, when you play, the sound is only maybe last for two seconds, maybe, okay? Bum, 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 something like that, okay? And the gap between the notes is big, very big, okay? And next, we will talk about tongue. This is the overall introduction. Overall, okay. Introduction for the woodwind family. And for more details, please look up from Google. Okay, and any uh, any relevant websites. Thank you.